My name is Mr. Adam Nesbitt. I'm 27 years old. I was in the British Army. I served nine years. I was a chef. Adam, okay. tell me about Shark Sports and what you enjoy the most about it. I mainly like because there's a lot of the military veterans that come around and get involved with like all the different events that you got going on. And it's quite good because when I was in the army, I got the physical, but not, not the best, and I got a head injury. So when I see all the other veterans, I can connect with them quite well and have a chat and it eases things out. It makes life a bit, quite a lot easier just to go ahead and talk to somebody who I may never know, but because of the military base, it's quite easy in comparison to speaking to some random civilian, let's say, who I've never met, I don't know, and talk to them. I get a bit, I don't want to tell them my life story more, but with veterans, they've been through the same thing. They know what we do and what we've gone through and all that. So it's, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And we've got the social hubs and the walks that we do. Yeah. The allotment project. What is it you enjoy the most out of our time, sir? What do you think? <clears throat> it's hard to pick the, my favourite out of them all because I do love when we do the, the veterans hub um, on the Mondays. I love doing that because... It happens quite a lot where new veterans who have never seen they arrive and then there's that veteran who lives close to me who is dementia and I'm like his peer mentor. I brought him to the hub one day and um, did that. Somebody who he knew from 1996. Just, the, I didn't know they knew each other. Then next thing I know, because I, I took the that veteran who was me, I took him and he had the biggest grin on his face because what he's just, who he's just re-met at his, brought so much memory back to about 1996 and where they were and all this. So that's what I think. I think actually with that, my favourite probably would be the whole place. Yeah, it's an incredible moment that, wasn't it? That was. Because I, 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 I never feel like I do too much like Im, um, impressive base, I'd say. Um, but when I did that and I saw how loads were coming back and the smile on his face and him remembering so much, I thought that made me smile. I was thinking... That's amazing. Look at just how it was and how he's connected with somebody who he's not seen for so long. And he doesn't remember much, but when he was with him, loads came back. Yeah, and I was I was happy with that. We had two people from different parts of the northwest meet much. in the same room, and they hadn't seen each other for thirty years. Yeah, it's, That's it's absolutely incredible. It's, it's amazing right now. It, it was a big chin up thing for me. Like I've done some. I actually done something that is really good. It impressed me really that that and then. I just, I just leave them, I just left them to it, I didn't interrupt, I just listened to what they were saying and the amount of things that were coming through, it, it was good. Amazing, wasn't yeah, it? I massive. guess that's the strength of bringing a community together. Yeah, that's, yeah. Um, Adam, I met you 18 months ago yeah. and you've come a long way. <laughs> so do you want to tell me a bit more about like when we met at Cell Walk Park for the first walk um, yeah. till now, do you want to tell me about your kind of progress from that point? Um, yeah, well, when we first met, that was through another charity meeting at Cell Water Park, doing the walk around, which was quite good. And then at first, I didn't know who you were. I was going to get involved with too much things with you. I thought you were, I didn't know much. Then after a bit by a bit, the two charities combined and mixed together quite well. Um, different events going on where you were there and we were there. And then that got us involved more. Then I heard little bits about what you were doing. So I got involved doing that a lot more. And the walks around the water park changed to mainly yourselves um, after all the whole covid lockdown restriction things but you kept not with the covid you didn't keep everything but you kept quite a few things like the whatsapp group chats you had a lot of chats on there so which everyone was still connected and talking to each other while they were at home mm -hmm. losing their minds so to say and um doing loads of going out and the amount of things that you've done in a world self with organizing different events so like the allotments you've now got we go to that that's quite nice sometimes it's a bit hard with the legs but it is still quite nice getting out there, doing something new and trying, or even if I'm not able to do it from the way, just sat there or stood there talking and watching you do things and communicating a passing message on from one person to another, Yeah, um, which was quite good. And, Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think we've got a really positive group of people there, oh, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. You know, the, the guys that we see every week, um, yeah. you know, it's, in, it's incredible. And I think yeah. it, it's really, really positive points throughout the week. You know, we try and start the week really well with the, yeah. with the social hub and we try and finish the walk really well with, yeah. you know, on a Friday. And um, I think physically as well, I don't like the progress you've made over the last 18 months is amazing. Massively, yeah. If I didn't do all like the walks or the events, meeting up out and about doing different things, even like stable things, I wasn't the best, let's say, not the best, but I wasn't too active and able to do as much physically. 
But now, as it's gone so well with yourselves, you think it's a big reason for yourselves is a lot of things have improved quite massively. So then now I've actually managed and I've got a job. And it's a physically active job in a, in a shopping centre like Cafe Place. So I'm on my feet for like eight hours, which is mm. a lot more than I thought I could do. If I went back 18 months ago, I could barely stand for an hour, let alone eight hours working and running. Mate, it's incredible. Mm-hmm. And obviously, you know, you see it from, from my perspective and, you know, when we first met, um, you know, you, you're still using your stick. Yes. And now, you know, you're at the stage where you're in employment and we've, we've done long tracks in the uh, Pete District. Oh, I forgot and, about that, yeah. Um, it's, been, it's been amazing, mate, and that's testament to you. Yes. And getting out and, you know, you talked about um, supporting Chris as well yeah. and supporting other veterans in the group and you do a lot of that. Yeah. And I think it is good. really important. Helps me a lot more when I'm helping others. It, I think that's one thing that I like. It, I think works quite well for me is when I'm assisting somebody else, it also assists me massively, even though I'm doing little bits for them or helping them with little things. Yeah, It helps me on a, on a bigger stage because it brings a bit of positive nature-wise to me thinking, I've just done this and that went well and I did this and I did this for them. But then me doing that for them, that's done this and this for me. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you, you come down to the programme and you've been a huge part of Sharks Wars mm. over this time. Mm. You know, drum we did the walk last Christmas from the AJ Bell yes. to the centre of Manchester. Yes, that was um, And it, new. it's what brings everybody together, isn't it? Yeah, massive. Uh, and also the first sale of Sharks game. Oh, that 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 was that was a new one. It's like didn't expect what it was gonna be like. I've not seen rugby for well, years really. Mm-hmm. So when it was up there it was quite interesting watching how it goes and it was a a really good game. We got to go to a Friday night game. We were yeah. trying to invite you down for a while. It's the first yeah. time we got the chance to, wasn't it? From, yeah, yeah it amazing. Was and then also the walking rugby. I know yes. you, uh, you know, you you attending that for, yeah. for a good number of weeks down the road, and yeah. you know, it's a good way to get into physical activity again as yeah. well. Yeah, that, that was good. Every now and then things went down, but kept it going because it was good mentality wise of well, it's rugby, and even though it's not really running and chasing people or trying to tackle. It still was the whole side of doing it with the new rules and le- learning the new ways of adaptions. Yeah. So obviously we've got our Remembrance Day fixture on the 6th. Yes. And I know you're going to help me out with some volunteering on the day as well. Yeah. And um, What would you say to uh, potentially a veteran or current serving personnel who may uh, be thinking about reaching out to a programme like this? What would you say to them? I'd say, well, if you think that you're the top of your game and you think there's nothing that these events or these, like... Um, groups can do for you you're more than likely wrong because there's always something that you've buried deep inside that you need a little bit of assistance to help strengthen you in life so you can get out you can do a lot more out on the street see new people and learn new things and it'll help with your confidence and ability physically and cognitive base mm. so i'd say always get involved as much as you can really yeah absolutely i know we see a lot of guys who may have been socially isolated for a long period of time yeah um and we've got a really positive group now, haven't we? Oh, massive. We all we see each other a few times. Even when someone comes new, even though there's a group of us who've known, we've, we've met each other, seen each other up in the hub yeah. for quite a bit of time, somebody new comes, we don't abandon them and leave them out on their own. We bring them in and then straight away we start connecting and talking to them. So they're then straight away, they're involved in our little veterans bubble, so let's say, mm-hmm. where it's quite good, regardless what service or even I say, some things are, oh, I was in this and this is my job I won't be connected with anyone else all of us who meet up veteran wise we've all every single one has had different jobs no one's had the same job as anyone else Yeah. so we're all completely different which is quite good because even though we had different career paths in yeah. our service base yeah. it still works because we've all service so it's fine that it is absolutely and it's important to know, like, you know, the entire time I've, I've been in this job and, and working with this programme, that you've been a really big part of it, Adam. So it's really important to know that you're, uh, you know, you make a big difference to people. Yeah, I think. And, you know, I always want you to know that. Yeah, and I never think about much, yes. <laughs> <laughs>